Hi, welcome to my channel, Jessica's Home. Today we have Jingle here with us who happens to have appeared in my kitchen. But anyways, we are going to cook lemongrass chicken, Kamayan style. What we will need are different parts of chicken, which we have here, eight pieces of chicken drumsticks, four pieces of chicken thighs, and eight pieces of chicken wings with a uh, part of the joint cut. The marinade consists of some white pepper, three quarter cups of brown sugar, two tablespoons of oyster sauce, two tablespoons of fish sauce, two tablespoons of soy sauce, a splash of vinegar, a couple stalks of lemongrass, a piece of ginger, grated, about one bowl of garlic mince. Let's get started. We're gonna first grate the ginger. After we have grated the ginger, we're gonna squeeze in the ginger juice. It's okay if tiny bits go in there, but we wanna try to squeeze out the juice much as we can. A splash of white pepper, three quarter cups of brown sugar, tablespoons of oyster sauce, two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of fish sauce, and a splash of vinegar. I'm gonna mix it. Mince the garlic. The, the sauce. We're going to use a couple stalks of lemongrass. Cut the ends off. Give it a couple chops. Okay. We're gonna mix in our sauce and let it marinate for a couple of hours. It's best overnight, but at least marinate it for three, four hours, I would say. Of the sauce is perfect. Now that our chicken has marinated overnight, I am going to grill it. The way I'm going to grill it, I am going to use my Ninja Foodie Grill, which never fails on me. But it's up to you. You can use your Ninja Foodie Grill if you have one. You can use a charcoal grill. You can use a gas grill. You can grill it on the stove top. So let me show you how I am going to set up my Ninja Foodie Grill. So first of all, I'm going to, of course, turn it on, set it to grill high for 30 minutes. Let it heat up first. There you go, and we can start. So what I'm going to include in my Kamayan plate is going to be a uh, fresh cucumber, fresh uh, tomato that I will cut up. We're gonna boil some eggplant and some okra. And another thing I'm gonna to add to my Kamayan plate is shrimp. I'm gonna do it Cajun style. I have some uh, spicy Louisiana, Louisiana sausage links, some garlic here, butter, and half of a lemon. 
I also boiled some salted duck eggs that we're gonna include there. And what I use for my Cajun shrimp is uh, Tinder's seafood blend. Slice cucumbers. I like to use English cucumbers because they're crispier than the regular cucumbers. Those skinny Persian ones are really good too. Eggplant. Into like about three pieces. There you go. Mince the garlic. Just coarsely mince it. pretty much all I can put in. So I'm gonna close it off and let it cook. I'm gonna peel my salted duck eggs. gonna salt my boiling water, put in my okra for about seven minutes. Just let it boil. Now that it's two minutes in, I'm going to add in my eggplant. Let it cook for about five more minutes. Okay, so our vegetables are cooked. Now our eggplant is done and we'll take out the okra as well. Let's check on our chicken again and let's temp it. We want to check the thickest part of the chicken. We want it to be at least 165. So now it's about 200, which is, which is good. And for sure we know that it's cooked. Let's try the other piece. Oh yeah, it's cooked. Oh yeah, it's done. So I'm gonna turn this off. Now we're gonna start cooking our Cajun shrimp. So I'm gonna heat up the pan. It's a little bit warm. Add a little bit of oil. I like to use olive oil. I'm going to add a little bit of butter. This is about like a tablespoon of butter. Let it melt in there. This is like about medium heat. I'm gonna add in my garlic. Let the butter melt. Once the butter melts, I'm going to add in my sausage to bring out the flavor. Oh, this is 
is smelling so good. You can smell the butter, the garlic. So let's cook the sausage while the sausage is cooking. Let me turn up the heat a little bit and add in my shrimp. Put in half a lemon. Throw the whole lemon in there. Put in our seasoning. Just sprinkle a generous amount on there. You don't need to add any salt because the seasoning already has salt. You don't want to over salt it. And that's good enough. Add a little bit of paprika. A little bit of black pepper. Turn down the heat. And cover it for a couple minutes. Let it cook. I'm gonna add some homemade achara, which is pickled shredded papaya. And some carrots. Put a little bit here. And a little bit on this side. Okay, perfect. Kaina, let's eat. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time.